Hey there, Commanders. I had originally planned this to be a tutorial on how to find and destroy Orthrus Interceptors. Unfortunately, after researching the different strategies that others were using, applying them, and trying several times to get an Orthrus to appear, I was ultimately unsuccessful at overcoming one of the largest single recurrent flaws in Elite Dangerous, the Random Events System. I issued a poll related to the Orthrus event to gauge if others were struggling with this problem as much as I was, and to get an idea of how many people in a sample were finding success. Roughly half of respondents were not interested in trying. 6% of the sample actually succeeded in completing a hunt, but only 3% were able to repeat that success. As a metric for success in game design, this result is poor. And while my sample size is small, it reflects the sentiment expressed across the community over the last few days, particularly as it relates to signal sources. Several systems in-game are driven by random events, materials collection, NPC piracy, and signal sources that appear in different populated systems are all controlled by an element of procedural randomness. Signal sources work like public events in a massive online multiplayer game. Think Destiny 2 or World of Warcraft, except that the signals which players can detect are local to your individual computer systems, so other players can't see them until after someone drops in with a team beacon active. Once dropped, an array of different scenarios can play out depending on various conditions. Population, system state, proximity to stellar bodies or stations, faction state, all play into what happens, what appears, and when. Anyone who gets deep enough into the engineering system to need grade 5 materials will understand the frustration. The most time-efficient way to get most grade 5 manufactured materials is to farm something called a high-grade emission. Doing this successfully requires researching the specific conditions which cause high-grade emissions, and specifically cause the desired material to appear within those emissions. Once understood, a player then needs to fly to a system matching these conditions and patrol that system until an emission signal appears. This has always been a crappy mechanic that nobody likes for several reasons. First, the player does not receive any feedback that they are in the correct system for the signal source they are looking for. This often leads to confusion about what conditions in the game actually generate these sources. The player is expected to reference an external third-party tool or memorize this information, leading to a lot more reading than actual playing. Second, the signal sources do not adequately communicate their contents to the player. All high-grade emissions look alike from the cockpit window, providing zero feedback as to what can be expected on drop. The info tab does tell you which faction owns the event, but does not relate that information to the engineering materials that could be discovered there. This extends to other background simulation events, like convoy patterns, distress calls, weapons fire, or other miscellaneous occurrences. The nav panel gives some hints as to the general kind of gameplay, but offers no real detail about the nature of the event besides a threat rating. For example, a distress call can be anything from a trader being attacked by pirates to the village idiot running out of gas, information that could be communicated to the player on the nav panel, but for whatever reason, it isn't, which means the player does not have any hint at what equipment they must have aboard to complete the scenario. Third, the player has no ability to influence the rate or quality of signal sources available in the system. This means that the core gameplay loop involved in hunting these sources does not engage any of the player's mental faculties once they are positioned in the correct location. You, the player, are forced to sit and wait, resulting in another monitor, or the player's phone, or something besides the game itself becoming the primary form of entertainment. This results in the player being unable to predict a per-hour return on their time invested. This is important because the reward is what drives player engagement. Sitting at a slot machine, pulling handles, and watching the pretty lights will not work, unless the person sitting there 
feels like they are making active progress towards the jackpot. This is why slot machines have a ton of almost there conditions. Outcomes that are very close to the desired goal and may provide a small reward, but do not constitute a final victory. This is a failure in game design that has been begging for a rework for a very long time. Increasing the signal source spawn rates does not fix the issue, though it can help paper over the problem by reducing wait times. The entire signal source system needs a rework centered on engaging the player more in the process of finding, entering, and completing these events. Here are a few suggestions. First, provide a UI reference that clearly lists out the signal sources which can appear in a given system. This could be referenced through the nav beacon or provided over the air to the system's factions tab on the status panel. It could also be placed in the discovery scanner somewhere. However it gets done, the player needs a clear indicator in-game of what they could find in a given system. This prevents time wasted in an irrelevant system and lets players focus their efforts where the yield is greatest. Second, provide a mechanism by which the player can target for and increase the spawn rate of desirable signal sources. This could be done via the discovery scanner or through a new optional scanner, like a salvage-focused utility or optional internal module. This could be paired with multi-crew functionality, allowing one player to fly the ship while the other runs the scanner. A tool like this would also provide additional methods of engagement for puzzles or in-game events. Third, provide a clear indication to the player of the nature and disposition of a given signal source. If a specific limpet or piece of equipment is required to complete the event, this should be clearly indicated, especially if the player's current ship is not equipped to complete the event. One great way to do this is by having the information text in the nav panel tell the story of the event. If the village idiot ran out of gas, have him attach a text message to the signal source page directly, which describes the nature of his situation whether or not there is a threat risk, and reference the equipment required to make the rescue work, in this case, a fuel transfer limpet. This new system would serve as an excellent precedent for player-triggered public beacons, should they ever become available in the future. I make these suggestions as an exercise in game design, exploring a problem and possible solution the way I would if I were a product manager analyzing this problem. I understand that it isn't likely any of this will be implemented, but I'm making it available in the hopes that it fosters a good discussion. If you have any input or additional suggestions, feel free to comment below. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.